Good day everyone! Welcome to another EdTech video tutorial. On today's topic, I'm going to teach you how to use whiteboard.fi. But before we proceed to our video tutorial, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell icon in order for you to be updated whenever I uploaded new content. And now, on to our video! Good day everyone! Welcome to another EdTech video tutorial. So sa video tutorial na to, I'm going to show you um, how to use this whiteboard.fi na website. So this is a free online whiteboard tool for teacher and classroom. So latest release niya was May 26, 2020. So this is an application or a, a website that you can use to have an interactive discussion with your students. So you can use whiteboard, di ba? When we are back in our classes or in our classrooms, gumagamit tayo ng show me board. So pwede natin tong gamitin as our show me board na strategy. So if you're the teacher, you can click cla add class or add new class. So we need to click this to create our classroom. So first, we need to start with typing our name. So I have teacher Justin. Okay, so next is we need to fix our setting. So our setting, we have enable waiting room lobby. So ayan, if you want to have a waiting room, you may click this. Enable images upload for students. If you want your students to upload pictures, images, you can use that. Next for simple mode. Okay, so if you want to have a low-end device or if you have a low-end device or poor connectivity para hindi magkaroon ng log or delay, you can click this for for your students also to, to not experience having a hard time using this website. So simple mode is actually very simple. Next is enable show, um, enable slow mode for students. So if you want your student to show their work immediately or makita nyo nagwa-work sila, you can enable it. If you want your student to um, work privately and then if they want to show their work, saka lang nila i-click yung save whiteboard na button. Pag kinlik nila yung save whiteboard na yan, then saka lang mag appear or saka lang makikita ni teacher kung ano yung sinusulat or ginagawa ni student. Okay? So yan. So I'm not going to click that first. So let's need um, let's create our class. So once you created your classroom, you will be given a room code. And this room code is going to be useful if you want your students to join your class. So you can also ask them to go to this website in order for them to enter your classroom immediately. Now, if I'm the student, Okay, let's open a new tab. I'm going to go I'm going to whiteboard.fi ask them to join class join class and then enter the code. San, san ulit makikita yung code? Ito sa taas. You can keep, give them the code. Give them the code and then ask them to join the class. Again, you can use the URL or you can use the code for them to join so here you are you're you're going to ask your students to write their name so they cannot enter the classroom without typing their name so if I'm going to use Leo okay and join the class I will be given my own whiteboard and the tools for for my whiteboard okay and for the teacher ito yung makikita so I have one student already, which is si Leo. Okay, now let's go on to our whiteboard. So here you can for the students they can see the whiteboard of the teacher. So if you want to see the whiteboard of the teacher, ayan. Okay. So for the teacher, okay, I have this. So if I'm going to write welcome and welcome welcome yeah my student can also see my whiteboard and the student can see my 
whiteboard the teacher's whiteboard okay so they can close it or open it now the student will have the following tools this is the same tools with the teacher so hindi ko na papakita yung sa teacher's whiteboard so we have the pen we have the eraser we have a line we have the square or rectangle we have the text we have the polygon we have the eye drop we also have this is stroke the um, the stroke of your, your pen the fill is the one inside the figure or the square or the rectangle or the polygon we have this the um, the BG what's that I don't know they can have the undo button we have the redo button we have the zoom in zoom out and we can clear all the things that is written there so we can write equations like this yeah okay we can also type using our text hi um hi everyone okay then you can have sorry we can have the figures okay we can change the background um the the one inside yeah okay okay and that's it and if you want to erase everything just click clear okay now if you undo click natin yung undo everything will go back now if you're the teacher you can see the work of your students and this one so I can see that my student is is writing hi everyone or illustrating a door or a window or a frame and then there's an, an equation okay yeah also if you're the teacher have the option to clear all the whiteboards okay to clear all the, the whiteboards you can also change the settings you can lock the room you can um, enable the waiting room you can click the slow mode for students and so on okay or hide the names yeah and also save all whiteboard as PDF so it is an option also you can as a teacher you can also type in an equation for example 4x plus 5 is equal to 20 20 Ayan. for example now I'm going to click action and if I want my student to answer this they can you can just click push whiteboard to all the students so all my students will receive this equation ayan so si Leo meron na siyang equation na yan. so I'm going to look at this wala pa pero I can refresh this then voila there's the equation and they can also check if tama yung sinan ni teacher so teacher ayan and then they can answer you can see what they are working on that's how you uh, share your whiteboard to your student now if your student want to leave the classroom they can click leave the classroom they can save also the whiteboard okay next wh what if accidentally they they close the app or they refresh or nag shut down yung computer nila no worries they can still go back to the classroom by clicking or going back to whiteboard.fi we have the option here to resume class so if we click resume class ayan then they can automatically go back to the classroom no need for them to type in the code because once they click the resume class they will go back to the class or the whiteboard okay and now if you want to close your classroom you can just click this close room now if your student is unruly or not 
um, not paying attention, you can have this option. You can click action by clicking their work, their whiteboard. Clicking the action, they can you can save their whiteboard. You can erase their whiteboard. They can you can push the teacher whiteboard to the student. Yung nakasulat sa whiteboard mo mapupunta sa whiteboard niya. And you can kick the student. So if we kick the student because they are unruly or um, they're misbehaving or not participating actively in the class discussion, you can kick them. Okay, so if we click kick student, then the student is out. And the student you kick will receive a notification that you were kicked you have been kicked out of the whiteboard room there there was probably a good reason for this then you can go back to the main and one good thing here that once na kick out yung student they can they can um, still go back to the class okay and then just click join class and then encode or write the code and then they can join they can type in their name again and then they can go back to the classroom okay and if they if the student wanted to leave they can click leave room okay you left the room thank you for using yeah okay and if you want to close the classroom once the discussion is done you can click close room and then that's it so you can go back to the main page and if you have a new another class you can click this if you want and if you want you can go to check this and they have some detailed information about their website and and how to use it if you want to check this website and try this please do actually it's amazing so, Thank gusto ko lang magpasalamat muna kay Miss Jessa Joy Atayde for kaya ko siya na-explore because of her. Because, pinakita niya to nung nag-demo siya, actually ngayon, kanina, kanina nag-demo siya, na natuwa ako kasi it's new and it's easy actually. Kung napansin nyo nung gumawa tayo ng tutorial, it is easy and madali lang siyang iset up and madali siyang i-access ng bata. So, di ba, ganun ka-amazing. Ka so free tool siya so it's free no need for you to sign up and so on diba ang ganda lang so we would like to thank her round of applause clap 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 ayan that's it for today if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have comments questions recommendations suggestions commendations leave a comment on our comment section below share this video and do not forget to subscribe and for more videos like this go to my channel teacher justin again i'm teacher justin goodbye god bless and stay safe see you on my next video peace Wait, nakalimutan ko na yung intro. Ang tagal kong gumawa ng video.